So this is gonna be a reaction. Matter of fact, I gotta hold a camera like this. It's gonna, oh, my hair is looking fucked up right now, bro. But uh, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna do a, god damn. I'm gonna do a reaction to um, Fit X Fearless, right? This is a dude that, you know, you know, he's just another of these red pill dating coaches that claim to be just a chick mat. Oh, I get all the hoes and, you know, oh, oh, I'm just that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do a reaction to this video with him actually getting in the field and approaching women. Now, then this behind the screen talk. Actually getting in the motherfucking field and having and approaching women. Actually getting in the field, not just yet running their mouth. Oh yeah, nigga, look at my muscles. I've been shaped, but look at that, nigga. Don't say a nigga. Hey, nigga, I get all the whole nigga. Don't talk about nigga. Don't that nigga. Right? Judging other men because um, there's people that join his live streams, or maybe some of, some of them pay for a, for a con cut for a consultation. Yeah, or some of these, some of them pay for a consultation and. We're going to see if this nigga is really a chick magnet. If, if, he, if he really is just getting the hoes, like he says, he can. He's just that, you know, telling niggas, oh, you got to have this and do this and all this other shit. Always want to criticize men and all of that. Which, which for the men that, see, a lot of these. Do a hair transplant. With everything else you have that is not that great. You can't mm -hmm. afford to not have your teeth good. Find somewhere where you can get some veneers and go immediately. Your beard can also be trimmed so it can look cleaner. Like you just look super rough and older. You look better bald than with, with that right now. So you think I should just go ahead and shave the whole thing off for now? Shave it off right now until you can get the hair transplant figured out. Since I'm going to be shaving my head off, you don't think like I need to grow out like the beard more like and then... You know, you want to okay. look, you want to try and look even crazier? The way your teeth are, there's no amount of braces that's going to make them perfect, straight, white. So you might as well just give veneers, in my opinion, because you got too many gaps. Smile again. You got too many gaps. Are you are you Nigerian? Yeah, I'm Nigerian, yeah. I can tell you don't use sunscreen. No, I don't use sunscreen. No, I'm right. We're black. Yeah, let, me tell, let me tell you how I know you don't use sunscreen. Look at the unevenness in your skin. This is super clear. Look at how your cheeks are light and your forehead is dark. That is a clear sign that you don't use sunscreen. If you want even skin tone, you have to use sunscreen. All right, all right. IG. What do you think I can? IG. What do you think I can improve on, on my looks? Take your hat off. Fix your hair. And make sure that's not your real hairline. Is okay. that your real hairline? Yeah, man. I'm balding now. Yeah, your hairline is doing a zigzag. We gotta figure that out. I think you hair transplant would be the best. Oh yeah. Don't keep wearing a yeah, hair man. on your head. I'm receding my hairline, fit. Let me keep wearing a. I just need some looks, Max, and advice. Judging from your face, you got a handsome face, nice, clear skin. I do TikTok. People be saying I look like you. Now I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing something correct. You're doing something good. What about the physique? Like the physique. All right, man, you got a nice body, nice chest. How tall are you? 6'1". All right, man, you look pretty good. Body yeah. looks nice. At 21, you're good. Are you going to grow out your hair or something? Yeah, I used to have, like, long, long hair, but I'm regrowing it again. Why'd you cut it? I was too, like, chubby in it. I had to lose a lot of body fat. What did I do with your hair? I wanted to try a new look, you know, when your looks maxing, you're trying out new things to see what works, what doesn't, so. All right, man, all I would say, bro, is if you can get your hair back long, it just improve your looks even more. Just keep doing what you're doing with your physique, and you'll be ready to go. Shape, taking out the dreads. Okay. How much you weigh? Uh, 180. How tall are you? 5'9". How's your body looking? It's good. It's getting better. You got a nice physique? Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Take my shirt off. If you got pants on, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got an ab gut. You got an ab gut, bro. Relax. Relax your stomach. Relax your stomach. You have abs in your gut. <laughs> you got an ab gut. So you, you could be a lot lean than you are. Yeah. Your fitness isn't that great. Your arms and your, you look like you got the framework to be in really, really good shape. But you're letting that stomach go, bro. Soon that going to be biggest. Yeah, I know. All right. Yeah, I was like 20 pounds heavier, so I recently just even got to this. Yeah. Okay, so your haircut, what do you plan on doing with that? Uh, Yeah, I haven't had a shape up in like three, four weeks, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Okay. Before. Okay. Take At least sponge it up, bro. Make it look nice. Get get serious with losing that those extra 10 to 15 pounds so your abs look better while you're still focusing on getting another, another job. True. All right.
Okay, so I've been watching your videos for the past four years, but just an advice from you with regards to my hair. I know it's a bit out of place, but I have no idea. And also with the beard a bit as well on how I can work around that. Do this with your hair? Bro, what the f***, bro? Cut that <laughs> off, man. How old are you? I'm 23. Bro, cut that sh off. Okay. Bruh, you look like you're 40. <laughs> cut that hair off. It's making you look a lot older. Let me see the beard. Yeah, it's a little rough looking too. Trim that sh down. Trim the mustache hair down too. There is no way you're telling me you're 23 years old. You look, bro, you look like a grandpa. <laughs> That's bro. funny. Literally. But do this. Go do this. Do this. Now go down to your eyebrows. All right. Look at that gap. Bro, that is a <laughs> That is an eternity. You need to either do a hair transplant or you need to just cut it off. It's ruining your looks. It's not making you look more attractive. It robs your youth away. So cut it off. I would say with the beard, trim it up a little bit so it looks nice, right? And then you okay. go from there. Okay. See, the fact that you're joining a man's live stream asking them to rate how you look is just very disturbing. To me, that's disturbing. Let me go to a nigga's live stream and have him rate how I look. Oh, how do you think I look? What can I do to look better? It's like, nigga, why are, you, why are you asking a man that for? Why are you asking a man some shit like that? Another man? Aren't you into women? It's just stupid, but we finna fucking watch this nigga. See if he actually gets the hoes like he claims he does. Let's get into it, motherfucker. Reaction video, bitch. Excuse me. Ladies. Oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> black women. I tried to approach 100 black girls in my hand. Bro, are you fucking... And they, nigga, nigga, they're having a fucking conversation. Oh, you know, I, you know, yeah, yeah, they're having a conversation. They're having a conversation and you just try to butt into the conversation. Hey, how you doing, ladies? Excuse, and then and then when you say that they still don't acknowledge you, they still do not acknowledge you. They still don't acknowledge you, and you still keep trying to get their attention. They say, "Hey, hey, you know, we got, yo, we got some stuff going on. We got, some, you know, we got something going on right now." Oh, sorry, and you walk off. Then you gonna walk off saying black women like, "Oh, black women," like, 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 like that's a problem that they don't want you just button in their conversation like they supposed to take. Take their attention off their off each other and focus on you, or black women. Get the fuck out of here. Next, come on, let's keep it going. Tell me now. Hi guys, so I just got done approaching and I learned a lot. I got rejected a bunch of times, but it taught me a lot of things. I've showed you guys my success. Now I'm gonna show you guys my failures. I think it's super, super important to have integrity and show you the truth. Where's the success at? Cause I typed in a video, I typed in Fit X Fearless Code. That's the only one that popped up. Wait, was there another one where he was just pulling all of them? Cause I don't, I typed in Fit X Fearless Code Approach. I don't see any other videos of him. There's a video where he was just talking to girls. He wasn't really trying to get their number. But, um, but yeah, there's not really, that's the only one he got. I don't see success. That's the only video he got is this, the, um, I got rejected by a hundred baddies. That's the only one that he, that he has that is on his channel. Something. I don't. There, there, there is no other. There is no other code approach video. But let me. Hold on. Let me a lot of things. I've showed you guys my success. Now I'm going to show you guys my failures. I think it's super, super important to have integrity and show you the truth. So you don't think that I'm batting a thousand, that I'm perfect. And I'm gonna explain to you what I learned from getting rejected. Hey, excuse me, how you doing? Okay, how are you? How you doing today? Good. What's your name? I'm gonna I'm go rewind that back where you literally saw him just step in front of the girl like that. 
Hold on. Look at this. Hey, excuse me. How you doing? You just cut off her walking path. That's not how you uh, walk up to a chick, right? If you want to get her attention, you can you can still stay stay to the to the right side. Say, hey, excuse me. You don't just step in front of a motherfucker, cause that's kind of rude, bro. And it's just weird. Don't step in front like that right there. And I'm not saying when you approach a girl that you have to look so deep into it and just. But there's just some things you just have to just you just gotta just read the room. You know, you just step in front of her. Like, come on, man. So. How are you? How you doing there? Good. What's your name? Cassie. You look good, Cassie. I want to take you out sometime. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, I'm. All right. Okay. Bye. Um. <laughs> this this is the man that y'all suck. This is the man that y'all suck his dick. This is the nigga, and he's not the only one. There's others out there. Him, Kevin Samuels, Samuels, Austin Dunham, uh, Alpha Male Strategies, uh, Steph is Cold, all these other niggas, and there's much so many red pill dating motherfuckers out there. <laughs> so, you she the girl's walking, you step in front of her, you saw the little step, the little, and then you it hadn't even been ten seconds, and you immediately go to hey you know I want to hang out, uh, we should hang out sometime. She doesn't fucking know you, dog. She doesn't know you. Why would she just want to go hang out with you for? No girl's going to do that shit. Any girl that has common sense is not just going to just go hang out with a motherfucker that they don't even fucking know like that. And, and, and that's all. Like, at least, like if, if, like, if you was in a club or some shit and you say, hey, what's up? And then y'all talk for a little while and y'all have good chemistry. Hey, you know, you know, um... We had a good conversation. Maybe we should, you know, we should try to get to know each other. And she fucked you. Oh, okay. But does some shit like that. Even if, it, even if me being a dude, if a girl walked up on me like that, steps in front of me, and she says, some, hey, how you doing? Uh, how you, oh, you look good. Hey, we should hang out sometime. I'm be like, no, I'm fucking up your ass, bitch. I ain't hanging out with your motherfucking ass. The fuck? No. It's too quick. There's no chemistry, no fucking connection to where... I would want to hang out with you. I'm going to thank you on some other shit. Like, wait, is this bitch trying to set me up or what the fuck? No. No. You ask that shit too fast. And this is why I don't code approach because it's just, you know, like, I mean, like I have code approached in the past and there have been, you know, I mean, my first girlfriend I got, uh, I had got her from a code approach. And I'm not saying that, that you can never get nobody off of that, but it's just, I just don't think that's the most best way to i don't know this is not for me if you're going cold approach it needs to be in like a social environment or some shit like that like a party or some social gathering or something like that i don't think it's you should just somebody just walking in the street and you just try to talk to them this is i don't know this is not really but let's continue oh my god uh, excuse me excuse me it's good, buddy. Nah. <laughs> hey, excuse me. How's it going? Good, how are you? What's your name? Vale. Vale. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here, but I'm Colombian. Oh, you're Colombian? Well, I think you look nice. Uh, I'd like to take you out. No, thank you. Okay. Bro, you don't... You don't fucking... When you first walk up on a girl, you say, I want to take you out. Like this, like this, this is not gonna work. That's why I don't cold approach because it's just it, it's just random as fuck. No one's expecting someone to walk up on them like that. It, it, it's just this is not cold approaching. Just ain't the move, dog. That's why I don't do no cold approach because it, it's just like like there's nothing for you. Like at least if you approach a girl at you know like a social event or something, like you can kind of. You can kind of start a conversation off some shit like, oh, well, let's say you go to like a museum or some shit. You approach a, or um, not a museum, like a, I don't know, fucking, um, yeah, museum. Oh, um, oh, you like art? Oh, really? Who's your favorite painters or some shit like that, you know? Uh, I like art myself, you know, I, you know, I like 
uh, paintings that look like this, some shit. And y'all have something, and you have some sort of subject matter to play off of. Just walking to approaching a girl, walking on a sidewalk. What are you supposed to play off of? Like, what are you supposed to talk about? Like, and then you immediately go to, hey, we should hang out sometime. It's, it's stupid, man. Come on, dog. How's it How going? going? Can you post? We're not even trying to talk to you. Bro, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? She didn't even look at me, bro. She looked at you. No, oh, excuse me. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? What's your name? Sophia. Sophia, where are you from? Born in Moscow. Moscow? Yes. What are you doing in Miami? Um, just China. China. <laughs> really? <laughs> you visiting? No, I actually live here. I oh, really? Live here, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. You moved? You just moved here? Kind of. Long story, okay. but I, I lived in Fort Lauderdale, now I'm back here again, but... Oh, okay. well, I, I come to move. Breakup. Break Breakup. For the best. Damn. Yeah. And this might, this might be the stars aligning then, oh, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do for fun? Um, I currently have Worcester Insurance, but I'm kind of like more heading towards the real estate route, so I do that and then modeling. But not only can I just like... Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you heading to now? Uh, I was actually going to go to the mall. Okay. okay. You seem like a cool person. Yeah. Well, we, should, we should hang out. Okay. okay. No worries. Thank you. You seem like a cool person. What she? All she said was, "Hey, yeah, uh, I'm from Moscow. I moved to Miami. Oh, what do you? Oh, why are you Miami? Oh, just because I wanted to do some stuff. Oh no, I actually live here. I do modeling. Oh, you seem like a cool person. We should hang out. What? She didn't even fucking say nothing. She didn't fucking say it. that. Uh, somebody saying that that makes them you you think they're a cool person like the day the flaw of this is he's instantly trying to like get into the fucking like that this why i don't call the pros because it's stupid you're instantly trying to get to the fucking number like you're like like you're instantly trying to um like see most a lot of girls not gonna go for some shit like this that's why because code approaching is stupid you know, at least if they're at like a social environment, at least you know that, <clears throat> okay, she came to this social event, whether it's like a festival or, uh, you know, uh, carnival, amusement park. Um, at least you know that, okay, this is a social event. She came out here to be social. So she's, <clears throat> she's, she's in the mood to talk and socialize, you know. She's in the mood. If a person's at a party, which I don't go to parties like that or the club like that, but if a person goes to like a club or something, they're 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 in a social mood, so they're not gonna be just caught off guard as opposed to you just walking up on a motherfucker while they're just trying to get to their destination. It just for her saying, "Oh, I'm from I'm from Moscow. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm model. You seem like a cool person." Maybe maybe we should hang out sometime. It's just come on, dog. Bullshit. See, this what I'm talking about. First thing I learned about rejection is most women reject men that they, that come up to them because he's not already pre-qualified. Now, why this is why is this so important? When I'm walking on the streets or when I'm, you know, anywhere, I get a lot of choosing to these girls look at me, right? But they don't necessarily know who I am. A lot of women have had experiences with men being creepy, men being weird, and women they like social proof. They want you to be socially proven. So rejection a lot of the times, guys, happens because the woman hasn't pre-qualified you. This is why you will notice that, let's say for instance, I can get a whole lot of matches on, on date naps because I have set myself up to look a certain way. Yes, the girl might find me attractive. Yes, she might think I look good in person, but there's no pre-qualification. And the woman can kind of be a little bit standoffish. So you probably getting rejected thinking, hold up, I'm doing this work, I'm looking good. Why are these girls not paying attention to me? Chances are she already has denied you before you came up to her. So you can't let this shit bother you at all. I've approached hundreds of girls. I've been rejected plenty of times. And I know at the end of the day, it cannot. Bro, you don't fucking have a seat. This, 
This, see, this is why cold approaching, I can see that a little bit. Some girls, yeah, a lot of girls do with creeps and shit, and they're a little standoffish with niggas trying to walk walk up on them and on some shit like that. That's like right there, how you sat down next to the girl. Like, bro, don't sit down next to nobody, bro. Just look at this. He, he sat right down next to her. So you can't let this shit bother you at all. I'm approaching hundreds of girls. I've been rejected plenty of times. And I know at the end of the day, it cannot affect my confidence because I know what I just said. Chances are I am not already pre-qualified. So a lot of women are a lot more standoffish. Right? Don't take this shit so seriously. Rejection is a part of the game. If you go out there and you talk to a girl and she tells you no, you're gonna skip out on the girls that actually like you when you give up. I've met a lot of beautiful girls from approaching. Some girls might be in the mood, some girls might not be in the mood. Some girls might be in a hurry, some girls might just be chilling. You don't know exactly what the girl, is, what her current mindset state is. So Duh. you go up to this girl, Duh. you talk to her, she tells you no, and then now you give up. Oh, see, I knew it, I knew it fit. You know, approaching sucks. You see, you get rejected too. What's the point of me fucking doing it? Because I know I'm never, never gonna, gonna be perfect. perfect. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna approach, approach women. women. If you notice, when, when I was approaching, approaching girls, girls I was, I was doing, doing it the, the wrong, wrong way, way, on purpose. purpose. I, was I was going up to them, them validating, validating them, them trying, trying to prove a point. point. Right, and, and I'm gonna talk, talk about that a little, little bit later. later. But, but chances, chances are, when a woman, woman tells, tells you no, you, you don't, don't know, know where, where, what her current, current mind state, state is. is. Duh, that's why you don't fucking code approach. Cause you don't know what the fuck she has on her mind. She's not, she didn't fucking, she, she's not walking down the fucking sidewalk with the intention of some random nigga walking up on her. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's why you don't fucking code approach. Duh. And you haven't been pre-qualified. So a lot of women are gonna tell you no off a of default. She's used to guys probably coming up to her, trying to hit on her, and her initial wall barrier is to say no, right? So you can't be a super aggressive, you can't be too upset, you can't get too attached to the outcome. outcome which is why I teach you guys to always be outcome independent. So that's the first thing. Most women are gonna reject you. You're gonna get a lot of rejection. This is part of the game because you haven't been pre-qualified in a certain way. Second thing I learned guys was when you approach women with validation, they automatically look at you as below them. You guys already know, I've talked about this plenty of times. I did it in my, my other code approach video. Uh, you can go watch after the video where I was kind of pre-qualifying the girls myself. When you go up to a woman and you validate her and you say, hey, you look good. Hey, this. Hey, you're beautiful. Hey, they automatically look at the dynamic as this. She's up here. You're down here. And even if the woman might think you're attractive, she now thinks her shit doesn't think. She now is carrying herself like, oh, you want me. You want to fuck with me. And as a matter of fact, I will go a step further and say this. When you work on yourself and you look good, and you, the first thing you're doing when you're validating a woman, she thinks something's wrong with you. I fucking guarantee you. Think about it like this, right? I'm FedEx Fearless. I'm a handsome guy in great shape, et cetera, et cetera. I go up to a girl and the first thing I tell her is, hey, you look good. Hey, you beautiful. Hey, I'd like to take you out. I was doing that shit on purpose to prove a point. The girl's like, hold the fuck up. I mean, he looks good. Why he coming up to me validating me like that? What the fuck is wrong with him? He don't already get girls? The fucking ghouls on the internet will have you believe, oh, it doesn't matter what you say to the woman. Yes, the fuck it does. Because she can she can like you, and then you talk your way out of the motherfucker. You make yourself look weaker. Why would a man who already has options be leading with validation? Think about it, right? If you're a guy, and a super beautiful girl is just all over you. She's just pursuing you, bombarding you with messages and calls. You might think what? Hold up, something ain't right here. This might be too good to be true. That's what the girls are thinking. A lot of the times when you've done the work and you are approaching girls and you leave with a compliment, they think this is too good to be true. Something has to be wrong with him. He has to be a weirdo. He has to be a creep. So they automatically like, hold up, red flag, wall up, a guy that looks this good, he can come up to me and have a conversation, but he shouldn't be pressing me like that. He shouldn't be pushing me like that. He shouldn't be that into me so quickly. Cause if he look good, he should already get girls. I know I look good as a woman, but damn, you telling me that I'm the most beautiful girl he ever seen? So you automatically make the woman start to question your value. That's what I'm saying. When you leave with a compliment, when you validate, she starts to question your value. I'm telling you guys to dress well. I'm telling you guys to look your best. I'm telling you guys to be in great shape, do all of these things 
all the while working on approaching women and getting better with women, well, you don't want to kick, shoot your own self in the foot by going up to her and the first thing you do is validate. She knows when you go up to her that, she, that you find her attractive. That's why you're talking to her. You don't have to spit it out. The best way to approach, I have said it and I will say it again, and this video proves my motherfucking point. When you go up to women and you validate them, they look at you as being below them. They look at you as something ain't right. They look at you and like, uh, well, I got the leverage now. Dating is all about leverage, bro. You could you could try to deny it all you want to. It's all about leverage. Somebody likes has to like somebody else more. There ain't no such thing as fucking equality. You and her, one of you motherfuckers that like you, one the other person more. And you gotta make sure it's her liking you more. Because if you like her more, she won't respect you. She won't feel like you're a catch. Women want men that are better than them. If you understood that, why the fuck would you go up to a girl and be like, hey, I, I, I like to get to know you. I like to take you out. You look good. Oh, yeah? Okay. Must be a sucker. Let me, let me, let me see what I can get from it. Rejection for a, a large majority, a good portion of the time. What are you doing? You spend all this time working out, eating right, getting in shape, but you're not making any money from your fitness. Stem from a woman thinking that something ain't right with you. Why are you so eager and so interested so fast? All right, guys, the third thing I learned from approaching is that I need to approach more. Even me, a guy who's approached hundreds of girls, approaching needs to be a part of your life. Even me, all the approaches I've done, right? Today, when I went out there, I kind of felt anxious as well. The anxiety, it never completely goes away. You might think I'm perfect, you might think I'm superhuman. Because I make content, but I'm just a guy. I'm a, I'm a normal person, guys. I have just done it time and time again. My repetition is out of this world. I have done what I'm telling you guys to do time and time again. Right? You can't get so comfortable when you're relying on dating apps. I've proven to you guys that I can get a lot of matches on dating apps. I've proven that I can code approach. And I'm telling you, both of those things need to combine. I don't believe code approach is the most efficient way to meet man. But I think that... The, the intangibles that Code Approach gives you, helping you overcome your anxiety, helping you lead conversations. If you can go up to a beautiful girl, bro, and talk to her and, and have a conversation and lead it the right way, what do you think you're gonna do when you start going out with girls who are legitimately into you, who have already looked at you as pre-qualified? That's why my close rate is so high, because girls are going out with me, they already find me attractive, they've already pre-qualified me, I have the confidence that I've learned and gained from being able to talk to any girl that I want, and I seal the deal. When you think that you could just sit behind your fucking phone, text and DM girls, what ends up happening is you start to become out of touch. You might get matches, but you go on these dates and you're awkward. You go on these dates and you don't know how to leave. So I encourage you to approach more. Make approaching a part of your life. Now, you know the way I was approaching is not the best way to approach because you're validating, you're putting her on a pedestal. She thinks that something is wrong with you. You should approach the right way, how I teach with outcome independence, going up to the girl, asking her a couple questions about herself, seeing if she's engaged in asking you questions and asking her out. And even then, as you've seen in one of the approaches, the girl was actually, you know, she was, she was, she seemed all bubbly, but then she told me she still had a boyfriend. So it doesn't matter. Like, that's why you gotta keep your interactions short and sweet. You don't want to spend that much time talking to girls. Keep the interactions short and sweet, but make it a part of your life. I can be anywhere. I can be at any time and I can talk to a beautiful girl, whether that be on the street, whether that be wherever. I can stop a girl right now and hold a conversation with her. You should be able to do this frequently. Make right, it a part of your life and you will notice that approaching is gonna, is gonna become more and more easy for you, okay? And that's it, guys. This is what I've learned from being rejected plenty of times. I've been rejected hundreds of times. I just got rejected even more. I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still, here. Confident. I'm still it confident. It doesn't okay, where's the me. video? So you get you. out there. Okay, so I can see what he's saying a little bit. Like, okay, this is just to help you know, how, like learn how to talk to women. Just, you know, uh, cold approaching. This can just uh, help you just get into the rhythm and learn and shit like that. Like, I, like I can kind of understand what he's saying with that. Um, Cause you know, uh, I remember when I uh, had a problem or I was shy to talk to girls. I remember I just one day I was walking home with this chick. Cause like me and her, me and her used to walk home the the same direction, and uh, like you know, 
I never really talked to her like that because like she'll, she'll walk with me and some other dudes that I used to walk home with. And I never really said nothing. But one day I just started talking to her and I was flirting and shit. And, you know, uh, it was working. And I, I and I, I finally realized how easy it was. That wasn't necessarily like a cold approach because she was already like in the group already. But I mean, I can kind of see that a little bit because I remember there's this video of a dude I seen on YouTube. Um, he he was shy of talking to girls, so what he started doing at first, he'll just start asking girls. He'll say, uh, "Hey, hey, uh, do you have the time?" And like, like you know, like, like he'll ask like just for the time. Like, hey, do you have the time? And you know, it just kind of breaks it kind of breaks that ice to where you kind of get just more comfortable. So I, I mean, I can kind of understand what he's saying. I can kind of get it, but I just feel like that just approaching girls walking down the street. I just feel like if you're going to start cold approach, it needs to be. If if you are gonna follow that advice, it needs to be in a more social setting where, like he said, oh, well, you know, you know, you don't know if she's in a rush or she's doing this or, or you know, or, or what her mindset is. Yeah, you shouldn't just walk up on somebody. So, I mean, I agree with that. You know, just you know, I'll say if you're gonna do that, do that shit in a different environment, not just girls walking down the street or butt into a girl talking like he did at the beginning and try to break it up so you can so you can step in. It's like, come on, man. So. I, I I can kind of see what he's saying with that. See, that's what I'm saying. These niggas, they always... When do you actually see them out in the field? Okay, that was, he was out in the field, but he got rejected all those times. So so you're telling me that you went out there and you was purposely saying the wrong... So you, so you approached 100 women and you were... First and foremost, you only showed, what, two or three girls on this damn video. So you purposely went out... You, you purposely approached 100 women... With the intention of getting rejected, just so you can t let people know, oh, this is what happens. So, so did it need to? Did it have to? Did did it have to take a hundred rejections for you to prove that? Like, oh, did he actually approach a hundred girls, or was or was that just like clickbait? Oh, I got rejected a hundred times because because we only seen four in that video. We only seen four encounters. So, did he actually approach a hundred women that day, or? Or within a certain time span, or did, he, or did he just, or did he, did he actually get rejected a hundred times? But he only showed four, just to give you a idea of what of, of what's going on with the situation of how, you know, of what not to do or something. Or did he just only approach those four? I think he probably only approached those four or some shit. I mean, he, I may, I mean, maybe he has approached hundreds of girls throughout his lifetime, but. And that was the only one that he recorded for the video. Just those four. Um, but who knows? I, I want to see this nigga co like actually more code approach. I don't want to hear no advice. I want to actually see you with, with, with women. That's the thing about these niggas. They, they, like you really never see them talking to women or with women. It's always they on camera talking. You never really see them with women. See, that's the thing about these niggas. Like these niggas, um, yeah, like, like like these niggas aren't as as fucking um, like you know, as much as they say that they're this and that and this, they're not at they're not really as fucking alpha or whatever you want to call it as they say they are. They're not just having whole all these women chasing them like they think they that they think they do they they don't have that <sighs> I'm tired now yeah they're not fucking um they're not so much of, of a chick magnet as they claim as you see him talking to women that shit oh he said oh you gotta keep it short and sweet no you're not supposed to fucking Within 10 seconds, ask a girl, hey, we should hang out sometime. That's just so fucking quick. A girl's not finna go go off of that shit. Especially, like you said, a lot of girls are a little standoffish towards men because there's a lot of creepy niggas out there. They're, they're not just gonna finna just hang out with you. They don't fucking know you. You haven't established any rapport. Get the fuck out of here, man. This nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Shit is so damn dumb. What? 
Let me see if we got some more fucking videos, man. I I, I actually want to see him so-called trying. I don't want to see, oh, you know, I have purposely said that so I can let you know that you don't do this when you code approach. Okay, motherfucker. Well, let me find, let me see a video of you actually trying. Man, this nigga's a joke. This is fucking ridiculous, man. I want to actually see you fucking trying. Fucking ridiculous. Hold. Oh, my God, man. I don't want to see no... I want to actually see you talking to women. I don't want to see no videos. I want to see you out there in the field, putting in that work. That's what I want to fucking see. That nice to meet you, Miss Mark. Well, you, so you're working here, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this since August of 2020. Okay, so what, what made you get into the jewelry side of business? So I actually used to live in New York, and I had a corporate job in Manhattan. There's like a lot of like up-and-coming designers, and I was always in the fashion industry. I turned for Versace. Oh, so wow. I would always just be curious and I'd be like, okay, how like how are people doing this? Because there would be a lot of street fairs in New York, there's like a lot of them. And I finally went out to someone and I'm like, how are you here? Like, what do you do to be here? And she's like, all you have to do is get your street vendor license and then find vendors and you can resell. And so, I looked into it and that's how I did it. What made you move from New York to here? The weather, I love the weather. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long have you been in Miami? I've been here since 2017. Okay. And yeah. you prefer it more than New York? I love the weather here. I love New York. When it comes to business, New York is like somewhere where you're going to grow faster. This is boring. Um, I really just love the weather. I'm all about the weather and like work life balance. And I feel like Miami you can have so much fun. Mm. So, yeah. But so I, I think eventually I might have to go back to this because business is faster in New York. Okay. Yeah. So I'm somebody new here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do for fun. Like, what, what, since you've been here for so long, what, what do you usually do for fun? Well, what do you like to do for fun? I'm more of the adventure type, right? I like to do. Um, just fun activities, stuff like stuff that involves me being physical. Yeah, All right. I mean, I don't know, I'm so boring. Like, I like to go to the beach. Um, uh, I would say, I don't even know. I you know when I first moved here, I joined like the app, like, I went on Bumble for like Bumble BFF, and I met a whole bunch of people there, and then we just like do different things. Um, but I mean, I feel like my enemies can be like all kinds of like active. I'm just really bored. I literally just like go into my pool. I have my pool in my building, but I go to the beach a lot. Okay. I used to bike ride, but then I realized my pool is not like safe to bike ride because I was run over by a car once. Oh wow. <laughs> and I was oh, like, shit. okay, it's not like the same. You know, it's not safe. But um, downtown has like the um, what is it? Like the Bayside Park and stuff. Okay. And they go to like the Muscle Beach and South Beach. And yeah, South I've been there. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been, been there, but I don't want to just do that. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to go out at night. Like, what do you, you want to do things during the day or at night? More during the day, I'm not a club person. Yeah. There used to be, like, the work, but the work is not around anymore. I would say, like, Wynwood, maybe. What clubs do you go to? Like, have you been to any clubs here that you can recommend? Yeah, I mean, um, I like Eleven. <laughs> Obviously. I like Space. Okay. Um, what else? There's Marianne. Have you been to Marianne? No. It's like a dinner slash, um, like, club. So okay. So, used to go for dinner cruises. It's like, a, like an event that they do. Okay. There's Barroom in South Beach that I really like. My favorite ones, um, I really like Miami in the summer more than in the winter. And the summer... I mean, it's still hot, though. I know, but you <laughs> have so much more fun in the, in the summer because you'll see, like, a lot of people won't invite you to their... You see how when he uh, talks... To the to his viewers, oh yeah, do, 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 you, you know uh, he talks with all that bravado, but when he talks to women, oh, it's still hot though. Like you see how like he changes like his like dialect and his demeanor, which I understand. Like it, it's just like he just you know, it, but you see how he changes that shit. Like come on, dog. I don't know, man. Invite you to their yachts, just like guys and girls. So, <laughs> guys and girls get invited yeah. on yachts? Yeah, I don't like, know about that. Opportunity in Miami. I don't know I about that. My brother was here because I fractured my my ankle once, so my brother has to like work my business, and um, it was just so nice because he's from New York and Pennsylvania, and, and girls and just people are just not as friendly. They're just like a little bit more cold. So when he was here, okay. like, he grew so much personally and stuff. So it was cool because there's equal up. Like in the summer, it's just everyone's going out, everyone's inviting everyone. You'll meet so many people with boats. People that just want to like. Just have a boat party. No one's really doing that during this time. So. I got you. So that's fine. There's High Beach, which is a pool party, party, and there's Strawberry 
No, it was her pool party, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, what was your name again? Kesley. Kesley. Yeah. I'm Bismarck. Nice to meet you. Nice Bismarck. to meet you. Well, I gotta get going. Good Thank night. you. Bismarck. <laughs> Who, Biz Markey, motherfucker? <laughs> Baby, you, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you, oh, oh, you got what I need. Wait, Biz Mark, motherfucker? Okay, so the title of this video is How to Approach Any Girl and Hold a Conversation. So is is the is the goal of this you're not trying to get at them, you're just trying to show people how to have a conversation. I mean I get okay. Okay. My name is Bismarck. What's your name? Well, my name is Susie. Bismarck. Susie? Where are you from? Susie Chivalry. I'm from Utah. I'm just visiting. Utah? What about you in Miami? Just visiting. I need some time off. Yeah. Mm. I had lots of stress. So. A lot of stress. So Miami's a place of de-stress. Oh yeah. 100%. Oh yeah. How long are you here for? It was about four days more. Ah, you came by yourself? Yes. To I Miami? Did. That's yes, crazy. I did. Oh wow. Okay, so I just need some time to think. Okay. So what do you do? For like a living? Yeah. I work at a pharmacy right now. Okay. I'm a pharmacy tech. So, I mean, that's not where I want to stay, but I don't know what I want to do, so I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Mm. Yeah. Where else have you been outside of Miami? Uh, let's see, Colorado, Las Vegas, Vermont, but I think that's about it. You're a travel girl. <laughs> Takes a lot of confidence to go to a new city. Yeah, I mean, that you all know. I'm in Miami. Ah, you've been here with friends before by yourself? With friends. Okay. Usually it's my first time going out by myself actually. Okay. So what have you done that was exciting this time? Well, I, like I said, I don't really have any crazy plans. I'm just trying to relax and think. So. Ah, do likes and think food. from Utah? That's crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. Every month, this Airbnb pays me in semi-passive income. Now here's the thing. I don't own it and I... <laughs> Boy, this is life. I guess that you have to get away from where you usually are. Change the scene. Is the ice cream good? It's That's helping you relax? <laughs> yes, it is actually. <laughs> I don't. Okay. So, what are you doing later today? Uh, nothing. Just probably gonna go out and meet somewhere. By yourself? No, That's a pretty boring life. Wow. Because I know myself, I'm not supposed to do anything. No, I'm, I think you can have a good time. It's just it's kind of lonely, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I have a good time with myself, I guess. I make myself off a little crazy, but I think I'm funny. <laughs> you okay? So. Okay. I won't keep you too long. I gotta get going. No, but, okay. um, Susie, right? Okay, we should hang out. Yeah. Yeah? I'm in town for more days. I've got a lot going on, so. Okay. I'm gonna get your number. Okay. Cool. Yes. You're gonna have to type it this. <laughs> Three five. I'm, I'm gonna shoot your text. Okay. Huh? Hey, well, Thank you. Nice meeting you. All right, bye. Ladies, how you guys doing today? All right, that wasn't that bad. Okay, okay, I'll give them that. That wasn't that bad. You know, only thing, um, you know, when she said, uh, you know, uh, he said, uh, what you doing later? Oh, she was like, um, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm just gonna go eat by yourself. Is is it bad to go to eat by yourself? What's wrong with that? You know, I mean, uh, other than that, I mean, I can see he was just probably just being playful or something like that. But that wasn't that bad. So I okay, I, I will say that particular approach wasn't that bad. So okay, you guys, a little W right there. All right, wasn't that bad. Wasn't nothing too awkward or nothing about it. You know, so that one wasn't that bad. Okay, <laughs> you know, at least with this one, like he avis he. He actually established, he had a conversation before asking for the number or for saying, hey, let's hang out. He had a little bit of dialogue before immediately trying to jump to the number. So that wasn't that bad. So uh, that one, I can't really criticize that too much. Next one. Okay, how are you? How are you? I'm great. What's your name? Steph. And? Rihanna. Okay. Where you guys from? London. London. Yeah. We're going to try to Miami. 
holiday. Free holiday to the holiday, yeah. Uh, holiday, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's fun. Yeah? It's really fun. And where have y'all done so far? Nothing. Nothing? Y'all at the beach now? It's beautiful. No, we've been at the beach. We've been eating all the food. I went jet skiing. We went jet skiing. Ah. Like How long are you guys here for? Till tomorrow. Yeah. 23 days. What? It's a free holiday. Yeah, we're going to. So y'all flew like eight hours away to spend the But we're going to Miami. I mean. <laughs> Jamaica. 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 Ah, yeah. so how long are y'all on vacation for? Ten days. Ten days. Okay. And yeah, man, that's how this nine to five bullshit is. All this work just to get a week to ten days off is bullshit. Or fourteen days at the most, at max. Fucking ridiculous. Where else y'all going there, aside from Jamaica? That's you know, annual leave is only a certain amount. Yeah. Ah. You only got so many days off. Okay. You gotta go back to work. So I don't know much about London girls. Like, what, fill me in. What, what, the, what, what don't I know? What do you want to know? Tell the me. Best? The best. What do you want to know? What about London girls is different. I'm gonna be like, there's not that much. There's first. not much. Have you guys experienced American girls? You American guys are late. Oh. I'm so sorry. From what we've experienced here, I like the way that American guys are more forward. Yeah. Like, forward. Guys, American oh, wow. guys are like they're down to be obsessed with their babes yeah london guys uh, are always like oh like, that's bare gay bro that's bare that's meeky bare like i'm not gonna do that but so like, both american are guys yeah. yeah they'll be like i love that girl. <laughs> I'm here for you. All right, with this one, there's no point in getting a number. If they're going to leave tomorrow or some shit, there's no point in even getting the number because there's no point. So hopefully he does not say, hey, what's your number? Because there's no point. They're going to leave tomorrow. The fuck is the point of even getting a number? So let's keep it. Y'all experienced that that quickly. Y'all want to be No, but they're just like, they'll come up to you and be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You would never hear that in London. Like, they'll just be like, oh, like, can I talk to you? Like, I was 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 they never approach you. Gotcha. Okay. Nigga, that's that's what he does. Wait, that's what he does. He does ask for the number right right out the fucking what right out the bat. That's what he does. He's. Hold on. No, but they just like they'll come up to you and be like, "Oh my god, you're so beautiful." You would never hear that in London. Like they'll just be like, "Oh, like can I chat to you?" Like, I was like, "Snap." Let me get Instagram. They would never be like. They never approach you. Gotcha. Okay. What do you guys What do you guys doing today? Are going out? Uh, think so. Yeah. Yeah. Where y'all going? Exchange. Exchange. You got, you got, I'm guessing you guys got invited there. Yeah. Mm. Why yeah. is that not like No, that's, that's what they normally do out right here. Just, Where's the place to be? I don't, I'm not really a club guy. As you can see, I'm like into fitness, so oh. I don't really go out. Anyway, I got to get going. Yes. It was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you as well. What is y'all Instagram? Oh. Oh, okay. It was nice talking to you. Same to uh, you. Your name is what? Naya. Okay, where are you from? Okay, I already seen that one. But yeah, that one he actually got. Man, well, I ain't finished. I, mean, I, I watch it over. Well, right. I, I ain't I ain't watched the whole thing. It was nice talking to y'all. Same thing. Uh, your name is what? Naya. Okay, where you from? From Miami. Really? How long you wait? Most people are not from here. <laughs> yeah. You grew up in Miami? Yeah. Okay, I just moved out here, like two months ago. Uh, Louisiana. So what do you do? <laughs> Said my name is Bismarck. <laughs> That's interesting. Where do you do like God at? Uh, the book cell is right there, sexy him. So you like in school or what? Going to going to college? You in college right now? I'm going to college. Okay, where are you going to study? Biology. Biology. What makes you pick that? Because I'm gonna be a plastic surgeon, so. Plastic surgeon? Yeah. That sounds kind of complicated. It is. <laughs> what made you pick that? I like making people feel beautiful. Okay. That plastic surgery, I only do reconstructive plastic surgery. Okay. So, like, sitting into a car accident, if they go to the hospital and they get surgery there, like, I would fix whatever they did. Because it's not plastic surgery. Like, mm. Helping them stay alive. Like, helping them stay alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, you mean, like, people who go to, like, adverse situations? Oh, okay. That's interesting. So, what do you do for fun? Eat, sleep, explore. Eat, sleep, that's what you're doing in the mall today? <laughs> you're just walking around? I'm on my break right now, so. So what would you recommend for somebody who's new here or just wants to do something fun? Um, I don't know. Miami isn't that fun. What? Yes, it is. It's not. It depends on what you, what you consider fun, though. I feel like everything is the same. It's different versions of the same thing. Really? So... 
I like to like explore new things, restaurants and stuff like that. I think Miami has a lot of that. And you don't think so? Restaurants are overrated and expensive. They're really? Expensive. Well, it's probably because you're a little, you're on the younger, younger side. side so, so, it, 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 <laughs> well, so what do you do for fun? <laughs> she just said. Outside you, from lifeguard. She just hang out with my twin. You hang out with what? Hang out with my twin. Okay. That's what's up. Go out. But it's a great movie. Um, today, we're in the town. Alright, man, this video's okay. boring. This video's boring. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. It was nice getting to know you. Uh, um, Maybe we should hang out sometime another day. Uh, Do you have, like, I'm going to give you. I mean, what's the point of um trying to hang out with her if she's not really into stuff that you're into? There's no point. Unless you're just trying to just smash, but. Like, if she's not really into the stuff that you're into, what's the point of hanging out with her? Now, for me, you know, shit. Um, now, shit. Obviously, like, you know, I have a girlfriend, so I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm some shit, you know, I'm just saying if, if I was single or before I met my girl or some shit like that, if it was a chick that was into stuff I'm into, anime, video games, making music, Anti or certain philosophies, anti-natalism, nihilism, and we had some shit like that. I said, "Yo, what's up? You trying to hang out some time?" But if it's a chick, we don't. She doesn't have any interests that I like. I'm not gonna say, "Yo, we should hang out." It's no point of hanging out with her. What's the point of that? Y'all don't have nothing in common just based on what she said. It's no point of hanging out with her. Budget to pay. What's your number? I'm gonna get your number. Cool. This nigga sucks, uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. I'm uh, gonna let you keep going. Yes. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bye. Okay, uh. so you've seen the approaches. Now I'm going to explain to you exactly how you should approach women and the f best framework in approaching women. So I look at approaching women in three specific stages. Right. The introduction phase, the conversation phase, and the conclusion phase. The only, thing, only one you did good at was the, the second girl. That's the only one you was good at. The first one, you didn't even ask for her number. You just, oh, I have to go. Well, why do you even fuck you talk to? What was the point of talking to her for? You just, you just talked to her just for what? I mean, the title of the video is how to approach any girl in public and hold a conversation. The first one, you didn't even get her number. And then the second two, you got their number. What? Why did you, was there, so was the purpose of the first one, you just trying to show how to keep the conversation, how to hold a conversation? If that was the case, you just should have kept that same energy throughout the whole video. like, Or you just should have tried to get her number like the rest of them. <laughs> that was... Because the first one, there was no... <clears throat> there was not any sort of um, like vibe that you was trying to talk to her. That was kind of like a friendly conversation. There was, no, there was no fucking like, oh... It was like you was on some friendly shit, right? But there was no reason to talk to her if you wasn't really trying to be on some shit. So let's see what he said. It's introduction phase, conversation phase, conclusion phase. So what is the introduction phase? When you're going up to a girl, the only thing that you should be saying is, excuse me, hey, my name is so-and-so, or even better, you go and you say, hey, you seem interesting. I noticed you, so I came up and introduced myself. Hey, Samantha, you seem interesting. I came up and introduced myself. My name is so-and-so. Look at the verbiage here. Interesting, not that I'm interested. We ain't fucking uh, leading with validation. You should never go up to a girl and the first thing you say is, I think you're hot. I came up to you because I think you're beautiful. You put yourself in a weaker position. The woman already know you're interested. That's why I say, you seem interesting. The conversation is gonna let me know if I am interested in you. This intro is going to make or break how the interaction goes. Guarantee fucking tea. You go up to these fucking girls, you listen to these fucking gurus on the internet telling you to go to you with a compliment. Get the fuck out of here. The girl already knows that you're attracted to her but when you go up to her. You don't have to. You know something that I hate about some of these people? They always say, oh, these gurus are these people, but they're the same people that they're talking about. Like, it's nigga, you one of them. A so-called so guru, right? You know, in you know, with, with these, with these hands, right? You don't have to lead with that because now she knows that she has the upper hand. 
I don't know if I want to take you out. I have to see if this conversation goes the way I want before I can invite you to be a part of my life. I know what the fuck I bring to the table. Look at me. Young, handsome, successful. I know what the fuck I bring to the table. Even if you don't have those kind of accolades, have some fucking self-belief. I ain't juggling balls in front of your damn face to get you on a fucking date. If I don't like you in this conversation, we don't got nothing to talk about. So I need you guys to have outcome independence. At any moment, you have the free will to walk away and say, this is not the girl I want to go out with. You should not already be sold on who she is just because she got a fat ass and a pretty face. Have more fucking standards, man. That's why I don't want you to leave with compliments. I don't know if I like you. Sure, you look good. What else? I look good too. I know your life is going to get better by fucking with me. I'm trying to see how my life is going to improve by fucking with you. I know I'm the man. I know I got to come up here and make the approach. I know it's my job, but you got to show me why I got to take you out. Why I should take you out. If you don't have that mindset, you're going to get crushed, bro. You're going to always have anxiety. You're going to always feel unsure about yourself. I ain't no fucking way I'm unsure about myself talking to no damn girl. I have approached hundreds of girls, even when I was just starting out. She's just a woman. Humanize her. She's not some perfect fucking being. She's not a unicorn. She shits and pools just like you. And if you're a man, you're a leader, you're a provider, this chick it should be should be proving to you why she, you should provide for her. I ain't letting you be a part of my life. I ain't begging you to be a part of my life so I can fucking provide. That's insane, guys. So that's the introduction. Hey. I noticed you seem interesting, so I came up to introduce myself. My name is FedEx Phyllis. Now, the conversation phase of this is you simply going to ask her questions about who she is. You can pick the environment, what she's doing, what, like whatever it is, something simple. I don't want you to memorize anything. And then you just ask her follow-up questions from her responses. You should be doing more listening than talking when you're approaching girls. That makes you sound confident. When you... When you're talking so much, you seem like you're anxious. It seems scripted. When you're trying to say the right things, it seems scripted. Uh, boring video. Scripted looks unconfident. Because uh. you can't just go up to her and be a normal human being. Women would rather you not memorize anything. Just speak to her like she's a normal person. She will be more attracted to you that way than you having a fucking script in your head. So you should be doing more listening than you are talking. Uh. Does she live in the city? Ask her if she's from around here. Ask her what she does. With the answers she gives you, you follow up on those things. That makes you seem more in the moment. That makes you seem like a great listener. That makes you seem like a confident man. Now I want to see if she's asking me questions about myself. Is she interested in me? Because it ain't, it ain't enough for me just to be interested in her. Does she ask me any questions back? Does she ask me what I do? What's the point of me going out with a girl that doesn't ask me anything about me? You talking to these girls, they're giving you one word answers. They close body language. They're not interested. They're giving you clear signs of this. All right, man, I'm done with this video. I'm done. I, I don't want to watch no more. I'm done. <laughs> this dude. I don't even know what to say. It, it, this, this is just fucking stupid, man. These niggas ain't no chick mag like, chick magnet like they claim. They're they're not a chick magnet. They're not as alpha as they claim to be. The people that suck their dick is you niggas. Y'all the y'all suck these niggas dick more than women. Y'all get on your knees and, and suck them off more than females do. Most of their fan base is males. They get more dick sucking from men than women. That, that that that's how these niggas y'all incels and you know kids that don't that don't know shit about women y'all y'all jack these dick niggas dicks more than actual women do <laughs> that's what that's what it is right that's all that it is he out of all the approaches he did good on one approach that's it uh one that 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 we have seen on camera I think these are the only videos. I think there was one video he would talk to another chick I seen. And that chick did give him some compliments. It was like, Colum was it Colombian girl? I think it was in Colombia. He he went to Colombia. Let me see if I can find that one. I think she did say he was, he, she's, I think um. she said she, uh, she liked his muscles or something. I think that's what it was. I think. But yeah, out of all the, I think it was like five or six girls he approached in this video. He only did good on one of them. All the other ones was just trash. 
And he said, and when uh, the first video, oh, you know, I was purposely trying not, I was purposely uh, doing that to show you this or some shit. She's this, okay. Is this him, is him, is this him approaching again? Let me see. Let me see if he actually did this shit. Matter of fact, this is, this is, this is Austin Dunham. Hold up. She's just fucking lame. I get like she's not gonna, you know, overdo that, right? Now with this next approach, me and MJ got at it. Two American boys, and um, we kind of followed them on the escalator while I talked to them, and then when we got to the top of the escalator, that's when I started talking to them, and we just had a very, very slight conversation. I think this one girl could actually speak a little bit of English, very broken, but um, overall we followed the same approach, just a little dialogue got the Instagrams or whatever, and that was that. Very, very simple. And what I've noticed mostly about these girls is that they're very excited whenever I did come out to them. Very, very good energy in comparison to American girls. American girls, you're like 50-50. They'll either like frown at you or like be shocked or scared. But these girls, very, very receptive. I was shocked about that. And probably because like we are the outliers, we're, we're like attractive black men, which they probably don't see that often. So, of course, being in a different country, South America, um, that, that, oh, she's bad. Wait a minute. Who is that? Hold up. <laughs> yeah, guys, I just lost my full track. I think that is a girl that FedEx approach. Yep, he's approaching her right here. Uh, this guy, you, you saw her. That girl's bad. She's probably the baddest one out of the whole entire group. But um, based on my memory, I think she told FedEx that she had a boyfriend or whatever. And then we ended up seeing her actually walking with her family um, a few minutes later. So, yeah, she wasn't feeling it. She probably gets approached a ton. And that's the risk you take with approaching like really attractive chicks. And she's definitely up there in regards to attractiveness. But, you know, FedEx did, did his thing. And speaking about him, when we approach uh, these bigger groups, he actually led the interaction. He let the interaction in regards to opening the group. And I was just kind of there because all these girls spoke Spanish and FedEx was the one communicating mostly to them. So I, like to speak I honestly just let him do the work and I was just there kind of winging or just there for more support. But um, they still, you know, were talking to me or whatever afterwards and we all got their Instagrams and IG numbers. For one of these approaches, I'm not gonna tell you which one, but if you go on the Patreon, all I'm going to say is you already know what happened. Business meetings all day, every day, even from court approaches. And if you want to see that, check out the Patreon down below too. All the links down below, guys. Now, one thing I love about code approaching is the flow you get once you actually start doing it for a minute. Like that first one or two are usually always difficult. But after that, like once, once you start getting like good responses and you're kind of warmed up to it, it becomes very, very easy. And I don't even like using the word code approach in videos like this because think about it, half of these are like warm approaches, which means that the girl was choosing us, giving us signals that she's interested and or looking at us in a certain type of way. Then we go up and talk to her. Uh, even the first Columbia vlog, if you, seen, if you saw that one with the quote unquote code approach I did, wasn't actually a code approach. It was actually a warm approach. So I think overall I did pretty well. Um, with not having speak the language, using the translator and kind of make my way around that. I try to use um, my body language to also convey my meaning and what I'm doing too. You know, also using the physical touch barrier, like touching their shoulder or like slight hug or handshake or something like that. All the same principles still do apply. And like I said, if I had to pick, I truly believe Columbia in regards to approaching women, it's a lot easier than America. Just because of how more receptive the women are. Maybe because Colombian dudes don't approach. Maybe that's not a thing in the culture and is unique in that way too. Let's get back into the video. Yo, what is up, ADT? Austin Dunn back again. We are still here in Colombia, South America. Man, let me tell you, it has been jam packed with adventure. Shout out to FedEx Fearless for really being the leader and setting this up for us. We're having a great time. And today will also be a great time because we got a lot planned. And. Shit's trash, man.